In the great state of Montana, game wardens face a daily battle. They fight to enforce state game laws and protect our natural resources. In Region 4, a bear breaks into a house. No, I just get my M14 and kill it. In Region 2, wardens are dealing with glass bottles and alcohol. Believe me, I'm more adamant than you are. And later, Warden Goley has a close call with fire. My nerves are shot. That scared me. It all happens right now. In Region 4, Game Warden Quinn Kuka responds to a bear call. Hello? He said it was okay, what's up? What's the bear call? The caller reports a black bear that's trying to fight its way into a house. Okay, we'll come help you. Let's go. All right, we're coming. A black bear trying to get into a lady's house, and maybe he's been trying to kill it for a while, so we have to. Um, it's behind the Exxon now. So we're going to run up there and try to shoot it. Warden Kuka hopes to track down the bear. We'll have this bear killed before you get there, so, I mean, you might as well turn back around. <laughs> Are you going to have the camera guy shoot it? Because I've seen you shoot. Oh, he thinks he's so funny. Really? That's all you got for me? I knew you couldn't go all weekend without trying to get that camera crew into your district. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't really ask for him to come. You could have left him back there. <laughs> oh, really? He says, you guys go handle it. Oh, I better come down there. I better just show up. They don't carry enough tape for me anyway. <laughs> That's because you don't stop to take a breath. You gotta quit yakking. Behind the Exxon, right? Is that where it is? I think that's what he said. I can't imagine why there's a black bear here. Look at this. <laughs> In Montana, it is against the law for anyone to purposely feed bears. Animals often wander near homes trying to find trash, dog food, even seed in bird feeders. Once a bear finds food, it can become destructive. How's it going? What's that? Oh, not too bad. We we're just checking to see if the bear came over here. Hey. Little fella up here wandering around. Yeah, have you seen him? Uh, Emil saw him you know, a week ago up on that bluff over there. He hasn't been here. Though, he just went in her house. Oh, in her house. Yeah. You know, I haven't. He's so been. His dog was barking up here, he's so he's got to be right up here. here. Yeah, he's here somewhere. We was hoping you had him treated, but he don't. No. I haven't seen it. Emil explained it to me. I got to see it going into the brush. Hey, look at the bear up there. I went, <laughs> is what he said to me, and I went, oh, that's a big bear. But it stands about that high. You want me to turn him loose? Will he chain? Well, he'll find him. Well, is will he you run him off? Might. He might decide, yeah. I know, and I'm worried that she needs to take the garbage out of there and. Yeah, she needs to do something, and she leaves that back door open all the time. And she leaves a big pan of dog food right inside the yeah. door. You have heard, if, if there's an emergency, would you go over there? Like if this bear gets in her house or oh, yeah. tries to hurry, will you go shoot it? If it's yeah. an emergency, will you do that? You want me a double lock bucket? Yep. Okay. Well, so go. you get her phone number, I'm going to have her. She got your phone number? Oh, she should. And then I'll just have you be like my backup, because sometimes I'm too far away. 
How can that possibly be? You've only got 348,000 square miles to cover. Yeah, just the way it goes. <laughs> just the way it goes. <laughs> Wardens Kuka and Goalie head towards the house to try and find the bear. There's a bear right there. They find themselves face to face with a giant. Near Wolf Creek, Montana, Game Warden's Brian Goley and Quinn Kuka respond to a bear call. Residents report the bear keeps trying to force its way into a house. There's a bear right there. Wow. It's a nice looking bear. He just went around the corner. I didn't get a good look though. I mean, did you see what it was? Is it a black bear? Like this big. You know what I think we ought to do? I think it's the one causing all the problems trying to get in everybody's house. So go get your shotgun, I'll go get mine. No, I just get my M14 and kill it. The bear, it's th as many problems as we ha have I had. I've had a complaint almost daily that this bear is trying to get in everybody's house. And trying to trap it and move it is, I mean, it's just, it's gonna end up in trouble or die. So if you look at it, his rear end, it looks like it's all his backbone showing. So I'm sure he got kicked off his mom this year and it's a yearling and he's just not doing that well. I mean, there's plenty of vegetation and plenty of food out here, but this bear is going from house to house and getting in everybody's garbage. And he's been to a house uh, inside, tried to get in a house, tore a screen door off and there's no food or nothing. And all the garbage was picked up. So this bear's just really habituated and you can walk right up to it. Warden Kuka decides to go for a firearm. 200 miles to the southwest in Region 2, wardens investigate a possible trail camera violation. Each year we get numerous situations where people are using bait and using cameras and uh, they come in different fashions. They can be tips from other hunters, hikers in the woods, but sometimes we use cameras to catch guys using cameras. Some of those too, can't you just review them right on the... Yeah, sometimes some you can. a screen right some there. Can. Yeah. I doubt on that one. The last year. one I took had okay. a screen right when you open it, there was a screen right here, and you could just preview all the photos. Okay. Right all right. Another camera. Another camera. Yeah. All right, okay. well, I got bolt cutters and uh, parachute cord. And okay. We'll just follow you up there. Wardens found evidence that a suspect put up a trail camera and set up bait to lure in elk to the camera. Both are illegal. Dang, dang, dang. He's been working out. He's been hiking. One, two, three. <laughs> no, no, not, that's not how seniority works. <laughs> that's not how seniority works, huh? <laughs> There's a reason we Doug and I will be in. <laughs> don't fall. Don't fall, Lou. Uh, well, it's not the biggest crime in the world, but we don't make very many of these, so it's good to, when you, we, we don't, we do pursue them, that's for sure, but they're hard to catch because they're so uh, elusive, and there's sometimes no real pattern to when a guy uses the, the stand, you know. We're gonna go up this trail system right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a new trail system. They've been working on this system. This is the one that's got the, the scoring. And the, the scoring on the trees. Okay. You'll be able to see that. Uh, they were nice enough to actually score one tree with an arrow in it. Robin Hood. Point, <laughs> this this point, way? Point, point, point this way. This way to the bait. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, actually this is all the stuff that I collected yesterday. We're gonna take this back into uh, the bait station. We had uh, your typical rock salt and then two mineral blocks. And here's a uh, game camera that was set up. Which game cameras aren't illegal to use in Montana until after the hunting season opens. Once the hunting season is open, then they, they're illegal to use. And they're especially illegal to use over salt. Hunting over a salt lick is probably one of the oldest laws on the books as far as uh, game laws go in Montana. Wardens use the same trail markings the suspect notched to try and find the problem area. Point three, that's a, about a 10 stopper for me.
about head height, yeah. Yep. So what you're looking at is hit that with a flashlight. Head lantern. Head lantern. That's gonna really show up. This way you can find the trail all the way up. But it's obvious, and here you can see, it's obvious it's the chainsaw. Just take a look on the inside here. Yep. Yeah, they're just taking the chainsaw, running the bar down, just throwing it. It's this way to the salt. So um, this is fairly fresh. You can see the sap, but it was done this summer. Coming up, wardens track down and confront their suspect. No, I, I, there is absolutely not. Unless someone put it there, and I, I'm not saying, no, I'm going to, unless someone else put it there, basically because he was pissed at me. Near Stevensville, Montana in Region 2, state game wardens Doug Johnson, Lou Royce, and Captain Jeff Adara track into the woods to seize evidence from an illegal elk hunting operation. Oh yeah, okay. we're almost there. We're almost there. What it is, it's gonna be off the, the oh, ridge. Into that little hole there. And now you're not gonna have blazes to the salt lick. Okay. You'll have the blazes going up and down the old trail. So we're 0.11 miles from our little spot. Okay. We're in a straight line Those pretty much. Those are so nice. And then we just angle a little bit to, it'd be the, Somewhere out there, someone illegally set up a trail camera, laid out bait, and mounted a tree stand to try and kill elk. Two of those offenses carry a pretty stiff fine. This guy was right here on this log. He just fit real nice. He was sitting right here on the log. Um, then we had the mineral lick here. And then we had another mineral lick. It was actually right here, if you kind of see the impression in the dirt where it was, it was sitting just like that. Just like that. What's the deal with the salt, or our mineral licks? What those do is those bring an animal in, you can bring it into a certain location and pattern it. Um, and then right here is the tree stand. The reason we didn't take the tree stand yesterday uh, is we didn't have bolt cutters to come in and cut the chain. So we come back today to do that. And this is a situation where he's gonna get in early in the morning, sit um, for a couple hours, hoping to get the elk moving through. Come in here. They might not necessarily stop here, but you've got the mineral lick, the salt lick, get them to pause, maybe take a lick or two. Uh, you've got three different types of, three different types of candy to choose from. It's unethical and it's an unfair advantage or you sitting up in a tree stand here in Montana, you can't do that. Long enough for him to take a shot from there. The only thing we don't know is, is it uh, two in the morning, two in the afternoon. That's the trail camera. Uh, that's gonna give him an idea when the elk are moving through. Warden Royce climbs the tree and cuts down the stand. Wardens confiscate the camera. It is, yeah. There's an elk eating on the salt. No kid. Right on, right on. No kidding. So he's got a commission rule and reg violation, which is 135 bucks. And he's got a hunting over bait, which is a $500 deal. So. Mm -hmm. And then, like I say, we don't know what's on the camera yet. If he has harvested something. Yeah, he might have harvested um, something. Let's we'll see. In Region 4, Game Wardens Quinn Kuka and Brian Goley try and corner a problem bear. If I'd have known where Emil and the kid were, I'd have took him out right there. The bear try to fight its way into a house, and Wardens decide their best solution is to try and kill the bear. Warden Kuka uses her truck as a shield. She hopes to get a clean shot. 125 miles to the west, Warden Aaron Bird works the Blackfoot River corridor just outside of Missoula. We're on the Blackfoot River just uh, east of Missoula, Montana. 
The Blackfoot River Recreation Corridor is known for lots of inner tube recreation and raft type floating recreation along with fishing recreation. Um, these hot summer weekends, we're looking more for the uh, busy uh, raft and just general water recreationists, uh, making sure that uh, they're obeying the laws. Um, we have a big problem with littering uh, on the Blackfoot with the inner tubers sinking cans and bottles and uh, we pretty much cite those people uh, if we catch them doing so. Um, you're not allowed to have glass. We're looking for glass bottles in the beaches and stuff up here because it causes injury to kids and, and people and bare feet. Right away, Berg spots a problem along the river. You know, you can't have glass in here. Yeah, I was gonna finish it and throw it in the car. Yeah, it's not even allowed in the sites, you guys. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you need to swig it down and put it in the car. You could be getting an $85 ticket for that. Yeah, yeah, it's not just on the river. It's just in the sites, period, okay. so. Okay? Sorry. Oh, no problem. Yep. And everybody's old enough to drink? You're old yeah, enough? How old? Yeah, let's see it. No, I, I, she's the only one I see drinking, so. I just gotta make sure. You can just leave it in and just show. From Sodak. Yeah. All right. Hi, puppy. Very good, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, make sure you don't have any glass on the river, period. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Coming up, trouble for Warden Bird. Did a river ranger talk to you guys earlier? Yeah. On the water? Yeah. Well, we were pulled over having lunch, but yeah. Okay. I need to I need to speak with the two that told them they didn't have fishing licenses. In Montana, the busy summer recreation season is underway. Warden Aaron Berg patrols the Blackfoot River. A big problem this time of year are people who litter. Typically, uh, when we cite somebody for uh, the littering portion. Um, they can lose their hunting, fishing, trapping privileges in Montana for a period of time. Uh, there's a fine involved, and uh, uh, the judge can also invoke uh, community service, especially with youths and stuff. Uh, the young people that we catch doing that, oftentimes there'll uh, they'll be uh, a penalty imposed that they have to help clean up our fishing access sites or, or what have you. Upriver, Berg spots a raft with what looks to be a glass bottle. Ooh, does she have a glass bottle? She has a glass bottle, doesn't she? That lady up front, I think, has a glass bottle. Back at the landing, Berg confronts this party. Hey guys. Hey, the reason I wanted to come talk to you guys, um, do you know the rule about no glass on the river? Oh yeah. Back in region four, wardens have spotted a black bear that neighbors say continues to try and break into houses. Warden Kuka takes aim while Warden Goley calls in a team of tracking dogs. The bear has become a nuisance and wardens hope to tree the bear and take it out. He's a little guy. And we, yeah, we don't know. Make sure we gotta make sure it's not grizzly, I guess, before we kill it, because we, it's brown. It's a nice cinnamon oh. bear. Bears like this one can become a serious threat. Once they eat near a home, they'll keep coming back. If startled by a human, these bears can attack. So we got a problem bear right outside this lady's house. Got inside the house and got into the garbage. So we called our um, local houndsman. He's gonna run his dogs. We're gonna go right up against the base of this hill. One hundred and twenty-five miles to the west in Region Two, Warden Aaron Berg has his hands full on the Blackfoot River. Hey, the reason I wanted to come talk to you guys, um, do you know the rule about no glass on the river? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we, was that a, except these, right? Was that a glass bottle you had in your hand up the river? Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, was it plastic? Yes, it was. I do not believe in glass. No, it ever. was it was a smaller bottle than this. Then it wasn't me. There's no trash. You can run it. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I'm probably more adamant about it than yeah. you are about it. I will not bring glass out of this river. Oh, man. I, I, maybe it could have been. plastic, too? You didn't have any glass, huh? No, man, please. I could have swore it was glass. I did not have glass on this river. Okay. Well, were you drinking Coke or Bud Light? I was drinking Diet Coke. With rum. I'm watching my figure. With rum. <laughs> With rum. Uh huh. Both out of a plastic bottle. Okay, so you were pouring it in the Coke bottle? Yes. Oh, maybe I saw the Coke bottle. I don't know. That must have been what I saw. And then, yes, the. Did you have it in a. Did light. you have the Coke in a koozie? Yes. You did? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, no, that must be what I saw. I just wanted to come up and make sure, because uh, that's just one of the rules we have to enforce. So, very good. Well, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't glass, so I appreciate you. No, making it plastic we're on top of it. very good well i appreciate that thank you guys very much i won't keep you any longer so you can get to doing whatever you need to do so that would be going home and doing laundry <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah <laughs> i just keep floating yeah just yeah. keep floating sounds okay. good guys all right, all right we'll care. yeah we'll see you later turns out the bottles were both plastic and Bird moves on to assist a federal officer on an alcohol bust. Oops! Oh no! Yeah, the ice was the main problem. Oh, there is one bottle in there. We can put that back. Yeah, I can hear. I can throw that back. <laughs> Whose is that? Who's gonna claim that one? Me? Oh, yeah. I will. I can, okay. I can show you my ID. Oh, okay. yeah. We were gonna just keep it. Warden Berg checks IDs while the Bureau of Land Management Officer writes a ticket for a minor in possession of alcohol. 22, huh? 22. Just last week. Okay. Oh, are those all the busted ones? Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. So I'll just put it in there and I'll throw it when we get back home. Okay. I didn't realize how many buses. Sorry about the can when you think about it. Do you guys know you can't have glass up here? Yeah, that's why we have cans. Yeah, yeah. If there was a bottle in there. Yeah, that was my fault. Three nine six FG two eight. Could I get uh, twenty nines on one when you're ready? FG two eight. I right, copy. Thank you. I'm gonna be out with her at uh, Whitaker momentarily. Okay. $85 citation for having glass up here, okay? I caught you before you got on the river. You can't even have it in the sights, okay? So we'll just leave it at that, okay? So if you get seen again, it's gonna be a little more expensive, all right? Okay. So what do I need to do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just gonna verbally warn you, okay, for the glass for now. You guys didn't make it to the river, whatever. Yeah, no, we I'm so glad, just, I'm glad we got it. Yeah, leave it in the in the vehicle, and just in the future, if you're going to recreate up here, no you, glass containers. Period are prohibited. Too many people cut their feet and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Be safe out there. Okay. One ticket and Bird moves on to the next call. You're watching Wardens only on Outdoor Channel. In Montana's Bitterroot Valley, game wardens confiscate gear from an illegal elk hunting site. Someone put up a tree stand, mounted a trail camera, and laid out mineral baits. Other than the tree stand, trail cameras and baiting are illegal during hunting season and carry hefty fines. He's got a commission rule and reg violation, which is 135 bucks, and he's got a hunting over bait, which is a $500 deal. We remove the stand. We're back here at the vehicles. Our next step right now is to look at the camera itself. Uh, we'll get a hold of some information on how to get, remove the card out of that. Probably put that, download that into a computer and uh, see where it's, well, that'll show us or not. 
Uh, we did see some of the video on the camera already, some of the photos. And so then we'll be figuring out who is the owner of that camera. Uh, it may be the suspect vehicle uh, that was parked here yesterday morning. And then we'll proceed from there. 651 FG22. FG22. Yeah, that's running 28 for me. If that is a suspect vehicle and the gentleman who did put the camera up there and is hunting over that, he's looking at a couple uh, problems right now. One, baiting, and number two, hunting over bait. We've ran the plate, we know who that vehicle comes back registered to. We'll take a look at uh, what is on the camera uh, and see if there are any animals harvested. And then it's gonna come down to an interview. We'll be contacting the individual in the next couple days, uh, explaining the situation and showing him his camera. And if we're lucky enough, We'll either download the pictures and print a few off for them to see. Wardens take a look at the trail camera and find plenty of evidence. That was 921. And then the new spot is this one. Officers also spotted a vehicle in the area and noted the license plate. Where we can go from here is if it also shows on the camera that he's harvested anything, it just progressively gets worse. What kind of ring is that? It's a little heavier looking. You know, it looks fairly, like, kind of small. Not, it's not just a band, is it? Yeah. Using that information, wardens catch a break and find the owner's home address. Wardens Doug Johnson and Lou Royce have more than a few questions for their suspect. Hi, good, hi, how are you? Yeah, Doug Johnson, hi. Doug, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come in or what? Oh, if you want to step outside, that's great. We just need to visit with you with the hunting that you've been doing. Okay. Um, have you been up hunting up in the sawmill? I'm going to ask what's going on, guys. Sure. I got three of you. Yep. So you got a video? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Actually, that's what I need to talk to you about, the hunting that you've been doing up uh, up Burnt Fork. Okay. Your vehicle's been seen in the area. Yep. I'm going to say, one of you guys blocked me in yesterday. That pissed me off. Okay. I... Were you able to get around me? I had to do about a 16 Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> It was like, eh, yeah, no. I thought it was a little closer into it. Which one okay. was up there the day before? Me. Okay. That was me. Have you seen some other people up there oh. archery hunting? Archery hunting? Uh, yeah, I had an incident. Recently or several years? Oh, no. I had, I've seen some guys up there last year, two years ago, and then I had an incident. I think it was Wednesday with a guy up there. Okay. But now I know why. You know. Wednesday? What was the incident Wednesday? Um, I was up there hunting. I had been before. And was it Wednesday? Let me think now. Was it Wednesday or Wednesday or was it Tuesday? Anyhow, I was on vacation for two weeks. I went there and there was an elk that was jubilee. I tried to get to it. It just basically went down and across over to all the creek and everything. As I was coming out, this guy just was pissed off. Okay. Pissed off big time because I came in and I cut him off. I'm like, oh, I hate to differ with you, buddy. But anyhow, so. Okay. All right, I guess I'm getting off. What, what, are we what, what, what I'm here for okay. is uh, somebody had found a trail camera. Yep. Up there. Tree stand. Tree stand? Yep. So that's yours? That's my stuff. Okay. Are, are you aware of the law just changed recently? This would be the second year of it where you can't use trail cams during the season. Okay. I'm not there. That's tr strictly. Probably, I can give you the exact date, but it was in July that we put it up there. Okay. And I just use it pretty much to see what's coming through um, and stuff like that. I've got pictures from the last two or three years that I didn't, that I basically bear elk and stuff like that. Um, didn't okay. realize that we couldn't use it. That's yeah, during, you know, it happened last year. They changed that. So this would be the second year. So have you recently moved the, the camera? Recently? The suspect admits the tree stand and camera are his. But when wardens ask about the bait, one other question I have for you. Did you put the salt licks out? Their suspect gets a little hot under the collar. You're kidding me. There's nothing there. There's a trail. There's a L trail there. In Montana's Region 2, wardens question a suspect accused of hunting illegally. He admits to the wardens he used a trail camera and a tree stand to illegally hunt elk. Then, wardens question him about salt and mineral licks. The suspect accuses another hunter of sneaking baits into his stand area. He says he's got the photos to prove it. 
Did you put the salt licks out? Absolutely positively not. Now I know that that guy was so pissed that he and I, we had a discussion that now, he, we, I told him, I said, I said, sir, I said, I'm sorry. I said, I've been hunting here for three years. Yeah, no, I'm wearing your medium. And he just went nuts. It's like, I've got a tree stand just up on top of the ridge. So, no, I, I, there's absolutely not, unless someone put it there, and I, I'm not saying, no, I'm going to, unless someone else put it there, basically because he was so pissed at me. And you know the best part about it was, and I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, because I'm probably done now, because now I'm getting really pissed, okay? I have his picture, okay? Because okay. he walked do right. You, do you have it on camera here, or? Um, you know, I guess I know where you guys are probably going. I'd like to show it to you, okay? But I know I spent 15 years in law enforcement, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. I hate to say that you're not here as my friend, but you're basically looking to build a case against me, and mm -hmm. okay? And that's, that. I can prove this guy at that particular spot in front of my chair camera. The suspect accuses another hunter of sneaking baits into his stand area. He says he's got the photos to prove it. You want to see his picture? Sure. Okay. I'm really pissed. Sure. Really... No. Just east of Missoula, Warden Aaron Berg patrols the Blackfoot River. He's been keeping an eye on one of the boats and wants to question the anglers. Two, three, two, eight. Two, three. Yeah, this boat, uh, that was a different boat. Uh, this boat's still here. Um, just hang tight for just a minute. I'm gonna go talk to these guys and uh, see if we can't get out of them who was fishing and what. How's it going? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, how was the fishing? Yeah, it got better towards the end of the trip. Did it? Uh, we put on about noon and it was. We had a dead buddy with normal last... gear. He said he was seeing them all. It was crazy. Yeah. It was pretty dead up until the last four or five miles of the trip. Where'd you guys start at? Roundup. Oh, yeah. We the... started at Wave Group. Oh, okay. Uh, where's the rest of your party? Running shuttle. Oh, Actually, okay. Actually, they're right here. Um, did a river ranger talk to you guys earlier? Yeah. On Oops. the water? Yeah. Well, we were pulled over having lunch, but yeah. Okay. I need to I need to speak with the two that told them they didn't have fishing licenses. I don't have them. Okay. Well, you were fishing, and we need to talk to you. Okay. River Ranger spotted this angler fishing earlier. They also watched a second man doing the same. No, that was my pops, my old man, but he wasn't fishing when he spoke to, uh, when the, the rangers came up, or the fishing man. But they were observed, you, you both were observed fishing, okay? Both of you were seen fishing. Okay. So, I mean, we can we can go one way or the other, okay? Yeah, he told us uh, couldn't fish for the trip, put the pole away, yeah. just drove for the rest of the trip. But you were fishing. I threw a couple lines out, yeah. yeah okay. Do you have any ID? Uh, it's, I, it's all back at the house. Okay, and where's your old man? He's right there in the truck. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you? Real good. How are you? Good. You don't happen to have any ID on you, do you? Uh, I don't. Huh? Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is uh, the river rangers were up the river earlier today, right. and they observed you and your son fishing, okay? okay? And you guys don't have fishing licenses. Um, so you can't fish in Montana without a fishing license. You're from here, right? You live in Lolo or something? Correct, yeah. Okay. You know you need a license to be fishing, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, how come you were fishing? <laughs> I mean, you guys know better than I that, don't fishing. you? Yeah, you were observed fishing, and I've got three people. This man also admits he doesn't have a fishing license. Suddenly, the conversation takes a turn. Okay, well, they will. Okay, all right. Hey, I need you to put that knife away just for a minute, please, okay? Near Missoula, Montana, state game warden Aaron Berg stops two anglers accused of fishing without licenses. Jesse, you want to come on over just real quick and we'll... How come you fished without a license? Well, I was just throwing a couple casts. It was yeah. a two casts the whole just trip. tempting, you were on the boat, yeah, that sort of thing? Yeah, I came out just to drive. Okay, all right. And we had stopped for lunch. Okay. I'll just throw a couple out. All right. And your dad, is he a local guy too? Yeah. Man, you guys both should know better. I, I know I do. I yeah. Just... Yeah, 
Jeez. I mean, this ain't the favorite part of our job. You understand yeah. that, okay? Um, we'd much rather be contacting you in a, in a method in which you were yeah. fishing legally and all that stuff. We're just gonna have to issue a citation. Uh, okay, the, the river ranger told us you were fishing um, and uh, he pretty much said, you guys said you weren't fishing and you were. Oh, no, he saw me fishing. Okay. I never And never And then, so he told you you had to put your rods away? Well, I, I saw him pull up and I knew what was going on, so I reeled it in, okay. put it in the boat. Does your, one of those rods, your dad's in the boat? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's a little uptight right now. That's why I pulled you aside, okay? He's Who's, oh, the ranger? Your dad. Oh, <laughs> I think okay. he's a little irritated. Yeah, he, is, he has a short fuse. Yeah, um, but he's not being real cooperative. Angler One admits to fishing without a valid license, but his father won't budge. Um, can I get uh, 29s on two when you're ready? And uh, we're gonna be out at John's Rude with those. Okay, you know you need a license to be fishing, right? Right. Okay, well, how come you were fishing? <laughs> I mean, you guys know better than I that, don't fishing. you? Yeah, you were observed fishing. And I've got three people that can testify to it. Okay. I would suggest that you have your testimonials come forward then and, and prove that. Okay, well, they yeah. will. Yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, I need you to put that knife away just for a minute, please, okay? I need you to pr produce me some, some ID, please, if you got My it. My ID is in my wife's vehicle. Okay, okay, what's your name? Backup arrives and Warden Aaron Berg writes two tickets. Come over here and just stand at the grill there. What's, uh, who's your probation officer? Okay. And what are you on probation for? Uh, the uh, charge is, uh, uh, what, is the, what is the legal term for the charge? Writing back checks. Okay. All right. You know you have to tell them about this? Yeah, yeah, I okay. have a monthly meeting. Okay. And that's one of the common questions yes. FG28. Yeah, I, I think he's just upset because yeah. he probably made a mistake. Yeah. Whatever. He's upset with himself more than anything. Yeah, which is understandable. You can post bond today if you choose to do that. If you don't have to do that. Here in court, we're giving you until the 24th day of August to get squared up. Okay. Uh, do you want to post bond today? No. Okay. I'll mark in here that we did not receive any bond from you. Okay. If you choose, you can mail this in with the check, or you can go and speak with the judge. Right. Good one. Yep. That's uh, all your information on there. It just has a violation where it took place, my name and badge number. Good do you have enough. any questions over here? Pardon me? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. All right. Thank Sounds you very good. Much. Thank you. Okay. 396 FG28. We're going to be clear of that mess and uh, add them two times two for fishing without licenses, both Williams. Wow, yeah, we've been looking for those guys since uh, 3 o'clock. It's now about 7.20, so that <laughs> worked out pretty good. Uh, you know, sometimes that's just the way it works, and uh, the son admitted to us uh, that both him and his father were fishing. We had three uh, Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks uh, River Ranger personnel at the uh, site where they were actually fishing on the river, witnessed them. Uh, the river ranger got a hold of us earlier and uh, turned turned them in and said that they were fishing without and that both those gentlemen had told them that they didn't have licenses and the father wasn't super cooperative. Uh, he kind of was hesitant to give us his name and uh, pretty much is still denying that he was fishing. So that one will probably end up in court, but we'll see. So uh, anyway, it uh, turned out uh, for the good, we ended up catching up with them and taking care of the paperwork and letting them know they, they can't get away with fishing without licenses and breaking the laws. Straight ahead. Warden Brian Goley gets a fire call a little too close to home. 20 mile marker and they said it's getting rather large. That's right at my house. In Montana's Region 2, game wardens Doug Johnson and Lou Royce confiscate a trail camera, tree stand, and salt lick. They track down a suspect and question him. 
Well, we went back and we interviewed the gentleman in regards to the tree stand and the bait station um, and showed him the evidence that we had. Tree stand? Yep. Camera? Yep. I'm a big man, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a truthful person. Nope, I won't take blame for it. The suspect admits to using a tree stand and game camera, but when wardens ask him about the salt baits, he blames those on another hunter. Absolutely not. No way. Never was there. They were never there. Are, are you hunting with anybody else? Wardens still find enough evidence to charge the suspect. He's looking at a couple uh, problems right now. One, baiting, and number two, hunting over bait. So uh, where we can go from here is if it also shows on the camera that he's harvested anything, it just progressively gets worse for him. In the end, the illegal hunter faced charges for using the trail camera and the baits. Uh, the outcome of that was he was issued a citation for hunting over bait. Um, the citation was issued. He then went in and he pled no contest or nola contendere to it. Uh, and the ticket has been taken care of and he's paid a fine. Over in Region 4, Warden Brian Goley has had a pretty quiet patrol. Suddenly, he gets an unexpected call. I'm trying to get the information fire. We're going to fire a full crib while out. 64. Yeah, we're Twenty mile marker. When they said it's getting rather large. That's right at my house. Turns out the fire call comes from the warden's neighborhood. Races towards home, word is the fire spreading. Oh boy. He spots the fire. These guys will have it out. Oh. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You're on you're on TV. That's nice. What happened? This is a isn't it? Yep. I didn't see it being marked. Here, let me get out of the street. I don't know what happened. Is... Man, that's scary when it comes back and you to her address. Yeah. Holy. I mean, it's just coming up to the road right here. Which one? Is there a gate closed right there? I can't remember. I'll go, I can go look. Warden spot a sizable grass fire. Fortunately, it's across the road from Goalie's home. He jumps in to help fire crews fight the flames. They'll get it before I will. They're right there. Don't want it going over the road. Wondering, do you think Bull Creek's going to be able to handle this, or do we need additional? On the other end! Sir, kind of watch my back line. Make sure no spring up. Thanks. No, I do this quite a bit. It's a lot of game wars do this. I mean, I grew up in Montana as a kid fighting fires all my life. Okay. Within a half hour, Warden Goalie helps fire crews douse the fire. Yeah, and it was just sitting here like when I came, like you said, no wind. Well, okay then. My nerves are so, shot. That scared me. So that's